I'm leaving the Lava District and I'm on my way to Copacabana. My new accommodation. I've got an apartment in Copacabana. I'll be spending the next uh, three days at the beaches of Copacabana, Lemmy, uh, Leblanc and Ipanema Beach. ask me if I uh, to let them know when I'm on my way and uh, if I want to come at a different time so my initial time was at 3 o'clock and then I texted them to say um, I'm on my way I'll probably get there by 1 o'clock so they haven't responded yet and I suppose they'll only get here at probably 3 o'clock maybe just before 3 o'clock hopefully they get my messages um, so what I'm gonna do now is just to check out the place see what's and see what's catching out here I am very close to the beach maybe just like a block or two away and I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna give you an aerial shot this is right smack in the middle of Ipanema and Copacabana so I've got access to both beaches from here and of course you know that Copacabana is a big switch of beach I think it's like five or seven kilometers and Ipanema and Leblanc as well so I have access to all of them I, I, I doubt that I'll be able to walk all of them I might have to rent a bike or something but um, that's where it's at I'd rather have that option alrighty guys so give me some time I'm gonna just check out the place and see what's close by I don't think you're ready for this. Ooh, what is that I see up ahead, guys? What is that? The waves on the uh, on the paving indicates that we are at Copacabana Beach. I think every beach along this way, well there's two, which is Cop Copacabana and Lemmy Beach, which is way over on that side. Uh, they are, um, you identify them with the uh, pattern of the paving. So I'm going to obviously make my way to Lemmy Beach as well and then we'll see what the uh, the patterns look like on that side all right but guys check this out man this is Copacabana Beach wow I'm at the far side which is now closer to Ipanema Beach and uh, and Leblanc Don't worry guys, we're gonna get to the beach real soon. I'm still walking with my bag, so I haven't even checked into my apartment yet. 
uh, they're still busy preparing it and uh, it's very uncomfortable for me walking with this massive bag and so I don't want to go onto the beach yet but we'll get there don't worry I know that's what you want to see I mean that's what I want to see Wow, it's a massive stretch of the beach. Guys, Two guys just grabbed my phone. Two guys just grabbed my phone. And run this way. They grabbed it right out of my hand. And then the phone fell in the road. As I was able to catch up with one of the guys. But then he told me that the guys got the phone. I'm just looking for the other guy. <sighs> Shit, guys. All my information's on that <sighs> Okay. I don't see him this side. But I still don't know what I'm going to do with this guy when I catch him. And obviously, when I do find him, he's probably going to tell me that he doesn't have the phone. So I caught up with the other guy. And just like I said, he told me the other guy's got the phone. And they both went different directions, so they split up. So as I got hold of the one guy, I grabbed him by the chest, and I demanded my phone from him. And he said to me, he doesn't have it, but he had a phone with him, but it wasn't my phone. And as we're busy chatting, and arguing, obviously, in different languages, some other guy appears on a motorbike, and he hands me my phone. So I don't know what happened, because, Right when they grabbed the phone, people were shouting and I reckon that this guy on the motorcycle started chasing after this guy and I think he went to take the phone from that guy. So, I don't know if they were all part of the whole thing, but I mean they gave my phone back and the one that I caught was still insisting that he had nothing to do with it, but I saw them. Whew, wow guys, what a wake up call. Anyway, it's all good now, I'm safe. The weirdest thing is that I still have my backpack with me and I've been running with this thing on my back this whole time. Let's go this way. I was sitting outside my apartment because I'm waiting on them to clean up. They actually texted me back to say um, they're just cleaning up my apartment and then they let me know when it's ready. Then I thought okay, no problem. So I was just sitting and chatting to someone on the phone back in South Africa. And I just hung up and these guys came to grab the phone and as they grabbed it I immediately held on tighter and the phone slipped out of both our hands and fell into the street and as he tried to grab it from the road I tried to to grab his legs but he got away Wow guys that was a close call I think it was just the adrenaline that made me chase after that guy I mean I had no idea what I was gonna do when I caught him but anyway guys, it all worked out. I think my screen's cracked. Alrighty guys, I just wanted to show you my apartment. Let's just check this out. So, alright, can't have to see that. Yeah. Alright, and immediately as you enter, you'll see the big screen TV, uh, the cable. Nice little uh, couch and, and the little dining area. So this is the kitchen with a refrigerator. Yeah. And microwave. 
that's a coffee machine, stove, and also a washroom. Wow, with a washing machine and tumble dry and sink all in one. Two geyser. Nice. And nicely covered space. And then the bathroom is in here. It's the bathroom sink, toilet, and the shower. Nice and big. Alright. So now for the main event. And it is the bedroom. Oh wow. Look at that. I think that is a king size bed. That's right. And nice cupboard space. Check this out. There's an iron in there as well. Okay, my pad's already in there. Nice. Lots of space, guys. Tall mirror, and that's it. I see an AC uh, little remote. Oh, the AC is right over here. There we go. Awesome, guys. Nice. That's my apartment. Private. And I'm paying $80 a night for this apartment. So these are the, this is the agency that's managing these apartments. And then you also have to pay a refundable deposit. So obviously if there's no damages and so forth, you'll get that deposit back within five to 30 days. All right. So just prepare for that as well. And that's it guys. Been an eventful two days. Gotta say guys, woo, from the favelas, to uh, Copacabana and you would think that I would get mugged in the favela guys in Santa Marta um, <laughs> but it turned out that I was uh, that I survived that and here I come to an upmarket area in in Rio de Janeiro Copacabana um, and here I get I get mugged so guys it is what it is man you know what um, these things happen they happen all over uh, you can go anywhere in the world, any big city, this will happen. So I'm not, I'm not gonna down the place for, for what happened to me right now. Maybe it's my own fault too that I had my phone exposed. Um, but you know, in, in all of the excitement and wanting to show people what the place looks like, um, I probably just uh, um, didn't have my guard up um, for that split second. But that will teach me now to be more alert and be aware of my surroundings.